Dr. Tara Narula. She's a cardiologist at Lenox Hill Hospital Northwell Health. Dr. Narula, welcome back. A lot of folks saw this happen yesterday and they, they thought he's 18 years old. He's playing college basketball. Mm -hmm. He's got to be in fantastic shape. Mm -hmm. How could something like this happen? Right, Craig. And anytime we see someone have a sudden cardiac arrest, it's difficult, but particularly when it's someone who looks young and outwardly healthy. This is definitely an uncommon occurrence, but when it happens, it's emotionally jarring. And really what it indicates is typically is that there is some underlying cardiac disease that was not picked up in most instances, whether that's a structural heart disease, that they were born with something wrong with the heart muscles mm -hmm. or the arteries that supply blood to the heart or an electrical problem that may be inherited genetically. Um, and typically it is an arrhythmia, an abnormal heart rhythm, ventricular tachycardia or fibrillation are the two most common that would cause someone to have this event. And as you mentioned in the package, it is usually most often seen in males in African-American mm -hmm. males and in basketball well, you, players. You think obviously athletes must get physicals. Number one, is that something that immediately you would see if given a physical? And just also, what does it tell you that he recovered and was out of the hospital so quickly? Well, that's definitely a good sign. I mean, having taken care of patients in the CCU who've had arrests, I mean, the fact that he was able to get out of the ICU clearly is not on a ventilator, doesn't need blood pressure yeah. supporting medications, hopefully neurologically is intact. I mean, these are all good things that had happened so fast. And as far as your question about the physical. I mean, the NCAA and the American Heart Association and other groups had a consensus statement that they released in 2016 that really recommended a pre-participation screening where you ask about a person's history. Have you ever passed out? What is your family history? Mm -hmm. Has someone died early? You do a physical exam. And the idea is with that, you may be able to catch some of these individuals who are at increased risk. Clearly, it's not perfect. And there are mm -hmm. many who are calling for more advanced testing, whether that be with EKGs routinely, mm -hmm. which is currently not recommended or even MRIs some people have proposed mm -hmm. so we're not there yet um, but this is really the best that we have mm -hmm. but one of the other things you mentioned also is being prepared and that yeah. was part of this consensus statement mm -hmm. is that universities need to have practiced this mm -hmm. emergency action plan so you can get there with your defibrillator you know how to do CPR and you're ready and they clearly mm -hmm. were ready yeah prepared that was it yeah. we thank you so much for all your insight we appreciate it thank you Dr. Mm -hmm. Rula. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.